Miss Polly here. We're going to do some bucket drumming. Firstly, you need to get your bucket. So you can use a whole lot of different things. Uh, you might just have something like a yogurt container or a hummus container, anything like that is fine. You might have in your laundry a plain old bucket, which is really fantastic. Or you might have even something bigger from the shed or from something like that. Either is fine. You also need to get yourself some sticks and you can use chopsticks, which you'll have in your kitchen, maybe. Or you can use spoons even. Anything that will make the bucket sound like a drum is just fine. So once you've got your bucket and your sticks ready, the first thing we're going to do is just remind ourselves how to hold our sticks. So we're holding them like proper drummers. So you get your sticks in a nice little fist, a little bit loose. You don't have to grip really hard and all your fingers are curled around and your thumb is curled around. And just do a little wave like that so that you know that you've got a little bit of extra movement. If we hold them really tight like this, we don't get a really nice, beautiful sound. And that's what we're always aiming for is beautiful sound. So you grab your bucket, you grab your sticks. Today, what we're going to do is three different drum, drum beats on three different parts of the drum. So the first one we're going to do is in the middle of the drum. We call that the middle. Then we're going to do the rim. So you'll see around the outside there. And then we're going to drum on the side of the drum. So we're going to hold our sticks beautifully like we were doing before. And you're going to also practice bouncing your sticks a little bit. Because if we just do a nice, do a hard drum like that, it's a little bit ouch. So we want to do nice, beautiful drums bouncing nice and softly. So we're going to just practice four in the middle to start with. So I'm going to count to four. You can count along with me. And we're going to do that together. Here we go. Wait for four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Awesome. Fantastic. Being my little Martian there. We are now going to practice four on the rim. So get ready for the rim. And it's the one that's furthest away from you. And you can use the little parts of the stick there. Here we go. After four. One, two, three, four. And rim. Two, three, four. And rest. Excellent. Make sure you're bouncing. We'll go to the side of the drum. Ready. Two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Great. So there's three different sounds that we've got there. We've got the middle, the rim, and then the side. Which one do you prefer? We're going to join those together now. So we're going to do four in the middle, four on the rim, and four on the side. Then we're gonna rest for four. And then you're gonna copy me with some of the shapes that I do with my sticks. Ready, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, and rim, two, three, four, and side, two, three, four, and rest, two, three, four, and V for Victoria. Is Victoria watching? T for Tom, A for awesome, and now let's just be a Martian. Well done, everybody. Bucket lesson number one. Practice that. Keep nice, steady beat, bouncing your sticks, holding them beautifully. And you are on the way to being a master bucket drummer. See you next time.